Good morning everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Every time I say that, I wish that I had some cool like British Australian accent and like welcome back to my YouTube channel. How terrible was that? <laughs> um so today, as promised, you are getting your leg and booty workout. But I wanted to let you know that I am not doing a lot of hip thrusts anymore just because I'm not able to put that weight on my pelvis anymore <laughs> because baby, I'm gonna crush him. Um, so I definitely recommend continuing with hip thrusts. So my husband showed up, he scared me a little bit. <sighs> if you like this video, always be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna keep seeing my videos. But without further ado, let's get into this leg and booty workout. Alrighty guys, starting off with our first superset, we are going to start with a pulsed sumo squat. So you're gonna come down into your squat position, pulse up slightly, come back down, and then all the way up. We will stay here for 12 repetitions and then move straight into the next exercise. So since this is a sumo squat, you are going to make sure that your feet are greater than shoulder width apart and then turn your toes out slightly. This is going to help you engage your glutes a lot more and really get them fired up. Yes, I am barefoot in this clip. I have noticed that sometimes if I'm having difficulty really putting weight into my heels or activating my glutes, that if I go barefoot, then it's a lot easier for me to focus on putting my butt back and getting that weight into my heels. Into our next exercise, I put this in here so you guys could see how I put the band on. I put it over my shoulders and then I step into it in order to get it on. But if you find an easier way, go with whatever is easiest for you. So get inside of the band and then we are going to do banded deadlifts. So you wanna make sure that you're still coming down in the same form as a deadlift and that you're not coming down with just your trunk. You really wanna focus on putting your butt backwards keeping that weight in your heels and keeping your back as straight as possible throughout the entire movement. We're gonna stay here for 15 repetitions and then you'll repeat that whole superset two more times for a total of three rounds. Moving into our second superset of this workout, we are going to do some sumo deadlifts. So once again, your feet are gonna be pretty wide, toes turned out. Make sure that your knee is always tracking over that first toe, like right in between your big toe and the toe right next to it in order to keep proper knee alignment. And we are going to stay in this sumo deadlift position for 10 repetitions and then go straight into the next exercise. Always make sure with the deadlift that you are bringing your body and bending your knees down at the same time. So body coming down and knees bending at the same time in order for proper deadlift position. The next exercise of this superset is going to be a Bulgarian split squat. So when doing this, make sure that your knee that you are using in front is coming down at a 90 degree angle. So if you look at my foot in comparison to where my knee is at, in my upper leg and lower leg, it's going to make a 90 degree angle. If you can't go down as far to make a 90 degree angle, that is fine. Just make sure that your knee is not tracking over your toe. We are gonna stay here for eight repetitions on each side and then you'll repeat that entire superset two more times for a total of three rounds. Going into the third superset of this workout, we are going to do a goblet squat. But instead of coming all the way up, you're only gonna come slightly up to the top, not full straight knee, in order to keep that tension real nice and strong on your glutes and in your quads. You'll really feel it. Stay here for 12 repetitions and then move into our next exercise, which is just gonna be a lateral bound to either side. So you're gonna jump onto the bench and bound on each side. Make sure you're watching yourself when doing this. You wanna make sure that your knees are not caving in and that you're keeping that proper knee alignment throughout. You're gonna to toe tap 10 times on each side. We'll stay there for two rounds of that superset, and then we'll move into our next and final superset, which is going to start with single leg straight leg deadlifts with a dumbbell. You're gonna do 10 on each side. 
Some tricks that I like with this is stare at a point on the ground, even if you want to put a plate there, like a, like a plate that you put onto the, the squat bar for you to stare at. If you stare at something that is still, your body is more likely to be still if balance is difficult for you. Or you can do this next to a wall, just placing your hand on a wall to allow you a little bit of support with that balance aspect. Another good trick is to think of a broomstick taped to your back and the leg that you're lifting. And if you think of that whole area staying in one straight line, that's gonna help you a little bit with your balance also. So like I said, we're gonna stay here for eight repetitions on each side, and then we will go into the next exercise of this superset. The next exercise of this superset is gonna be a glute combo slash burnout. I haven't really been able to do hip thrusts lately, so I'm still trying to get some good glute activation without that hip thrust. So go ahead and place a band around your knees. Go ahead and be on your hands and knees. You can do this on the ground. I just prefer on a bench because it's a little more padded. And you are gonna do 20 bent knee kickbacks. The reason I like bent knee is because it takes the hamstrings out of the picture and then you're just solely using your glutes. You need to make sure that with this, you're performing that posterior pelvic tilt of your pelvis so that you're not using your low back in order to get your glute into the air, or sorry, to get your foot into the air. Once you've done 20 repetitions, go straight into 10 fire hydrants. This is going to burn and it is supposed to burn. If you are not sure on the proper form for a fire hydrant, I just posted it on my Instagram with a voiceover and everything. So definitely check that out if you think that you're using your low back in order to get that motion. As you can see here, my leg is not going completely into the air, like it's not going past my butt. If you look at my upper thigh, it's not really meeting my glute. That is because I have tight hip flexors. But if I was to go any higher, then my back would arch, which would mean that I would be using my low back in order to finish the motion, and you don't wanna do that. So just make sure that you're keeping that neutral spine throughout and not arching that low back. Once again, I finished 20, now I'm gonna go straight into that fire hydrant. You guys are gonna repeat that entire thing with the straight leg deadlift three times for a total of three rounds of that superset. that is going to complete this workout. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.